Okay, welcome back everybody to 2015! New Year! Yes, Cat! New Year! So here we go. Um, when I left last time, my uh, my plan was to go and do a bit of wandering. And I didn't get very far, did I? Because I, I got to Arafu, where I thought I'd be able to just turn in a very simple quest. And instead, what I got was a whole whole load of dead people and now I need to figure out what's happened to them and obviously find the missing missing son so that's what I'm gonna do um, so yes let's go and adventure on that being an exploding baby carriage. Train 
station. Wasteland. Back to the wasteland. Don't want to go to the wasteland. I'm looking for the family. Fireworks definitely did not do this, I'm pretty sure. So we're actually dealing with intelligent people. There's no trap. Okay, sign of life. Shoot me with his imaginary gun. Whoa, whoa, slow down there. This area is off limits to everyone but the family. Where the hell do you think you're going? Uh... All right, all right. I guess you look harmless enough. If I were you, I'd speak to Vance before you poke around too much. You can usually find him on the mezzanine overlooking the common area. This lovely hole in the ground is Moresti, the headquarters of the family. We are a badass gang, and we don't take shit from nobody. We also don't like nosy assholes who creep around asking too many stupid questions. Okay. Just remember, I got my eyes on you. We all do. What are you gonna do? Oh, shoot me with an imaginary gun. I'm really intimidated. Oh, now you draw. <laughs> Perhaps you should have done that before. Hello. Assault rifle. Stim backs. A terminal. Flame of fuel. Ooh, I want to rob them. I want to rob them. I want to loot them. Stock up. Stock up on good things. This one? No way out that way. Welcome to our home. My people call me Vance. I lead this group of weary travelers and outcasts who need a home. And to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? What you see before you is the last bastion of hope for the downtrodden and misunderstood. It is a sanctuary for the oppressed and a beacon of faith for the tyrannized. Okay. What does it mean? Allow me to simplify it for you, since you are obviously of limited intellect. I led my flock beneath the sun-baked sands of the wasteland to keep them safe and teach them my ways. Men of science would call us cannibals, eaters of human flesh. Society okay. labels us as monsters, demons, and the unclean. Uh, 
Um, so you actually eat people. So you ate the West family. Ah, your words illustrate why the hardships persist for my people. Reforming implies something is wrong with them and needs to be eliminated. I think I of my teachings as more of an improvement, a way to transcend our cannibalistic nature. Your open-mindedness is very rare for a human. I find that fascinating. Allow me to bolster your insight with a lesson in objectivity. I say we are no longer cannibal, only consuming the blood of our prey. What would that make us in your eyes? I think you're a bunch of creepy weirdos. Names like that have no meaning here. Your insults <laughs> are a wasted effort. In ceremony, each member of the family must speak one of the laws. It is theirs to remember and to enforce. Perhaps from these laws you can discover what we are. Return to me when you are ready. Okay. You new here yeah. too? I don't think I've met you yet. The name's Alan. What did you want? Oh, wait. Vance told me I was supposed to say something special when asked that, from his teachings. Oh, right. The third law is feed not for pleasure, partake only to nourish. This is our dignity. Whew, almost forgot it again. I don't have any authority here. I'm pretty new myself. Justin's been trying to talk to Ian, make him feel better. Maybe you should speak to him. Justin. Justin. Guess I'll see you around. Got to talk to Justin. I've never Is seen you around. I thought you I knew everyone Justin. in the family, but I don't recognize you. You must be one of Vance's new initiates. My name's Justin. I'm pretty new here myself. Um, okay. Well, Vance makes each of us remember a rule. And when we all gather in the common area, we have to say it out loud. Kind of weird. So, my law is the fourth one. Seek not the sun's light. Embrace only the shadows. This is our refuge. Ian. What do you want from him? Uh, he's needed at home, his family are dead. Yes, I know. He told me. Surprised? Well, Ian was there when it happened and did nothing to stop it. If you ask yourself why, the answer is obvious. He belongs with us here. He's one of us. Don't deny him his rightful home. Uh, okay. No. Just that Vance said he isn't to be disturbed while he's in meditation. I'd never thought of it that way. I suppose he should get a chance to talk to someone like you. Here's the password to his isolation area. Just please don't mention my name to Vance about this. Ooh. I understand. Goodbye. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Holly, Vance's wife. Each of us is required to speak one of the laws when we hold our ceremonies. I say the first law. Feast not on the flesh. Consume only the blood. This is our strength. I'm afraid Vance... He's a good kid. I think Vance will set him along the correct path soon. Like he did for all of us. You don't think he's already messed up? Come on, don't kid yourself. We pulled him out of that shithole town just in time. It was good talking to you. She's a bit, these people are a bit You weird. got the cat? Well, well, I'm surprised you don't know me. I'm Brianna. I take care of the men around here. Well, oh, she's unmarried ones anyway. She's a slut. Poor kid. He looks like he could use another friend. Well, that is sweet, but Vance would kick my rather gorgeous ass right out of here if I told you how to find Ian. 
sorry. When we all gather in the common area, Vance gives his speeches, and then we each have, like, a law to say. Mine is, bear not the child, welcome only the exile. This is our fate. Kind of cool, huh? Nope. Like I told you, Vance has him in meditation right now. No one's supposed to be in there. Okay. Bye, sweetie. How can I do this? How I'll be at my store that? later. Catch me there in the common area. Okay, so there's a store. Carl's a salesman. Right, let's have a look. Turbo, turbo, turbo. Five laws of the family. First law. You drink of their blood and leave the body tacked. We are the family. Second one. So they don't have children, and well, they're not allowed to have children. They can only recruit already existing people from the wasteland. Tolerate murder. Hmm. Well, you killed the West family. Okay. Do you not go outside in daylight? Okay, they don't kill their own. I'm trying to get a good picture here of what these people are. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right. I think I know what they are now. Welcome to Moresti, human. You Let's wish talk, to speak to me again? I understand Indeed. what people are. Tell me what you've learned from the laws. What do you think we are? You're vampires. Do you think I believe I can turn into a bat and fly away? Of course not. Do I cast my image in a mirror? Absolutely. Now, ask me if I believe these individuals from every corner of the wasteland need me to give them a sense of purpose and identity. I have shown these people the ways of the vampire. I've provided them shelter, organization, and a sense of belonging. Now, you disappoint me. You need to open your mind and think for a moment before you pass judgment. I have reined in their cravings and taught them to eat not of the flesh, but to drink of the blood. Most importantly, they have a family. A place where their quirks are tolerated and understood. And where they can kill people! Ah, yes. My newest charge. What would you want with him? Then a part of his human family still remains? Even more of a reason he needs to remain in isolation. Ian is at a critical moment in his life right now. After all that occurred in Erafu, he is scared and confused. It would be ill-advised for me to allow you to speak to him while he decides what he wants to do. Damn it, Vance! What did you do, do to him? him? Nothing. Ian's hunger for flesh overwhelmed him. It drove him to kill his parents. 
Because of my intervention that night, he stopped just short of being lost forever to his cravings for flesh. I am telling you, he will no longer be labeled as such. He has become one of us, a member of the family. The hunger that drives us must be kept in check. It is one of the most difficult things to teach. Yen lost control because no one was around to guide him. His own family was alien to him. Your words impress me, human. Perhaps I misjudged you when we first met. If you wish to speak to Ian, you are free to do so. Here is the code to the area in which he is meditating. Okay. Oh, hey there. Talk to Ian. I'm assuming he's up here somewhere. I assume, which is rather dangerous. First aid box. Fine. Well, maybe that's because I don't want to be found. Why the heck are you looking for me anyway? Why can't everyone just leave me alone and let me make my own decisions? I can't stand this anymore! I don't even know who I am anymore or where I belong. My real family is gone because of me and Vance is all I have now. I killed them! My own parents! It was the fucking hunger. That thing that's haunted me my entire life. You must think I'm some sort of monster. There's something inside me. Something completely messed up. I'm a mutant. A fucking freak. The only person I was ever able to talk to was my sister Lucy and she's gone. No, no she's one not. gives a shit about me except Vance and the family. Can't you understand that? She, she really misses being home, and she's asked about me and here a lot. I think I had it all wrong. I shouldn't have come here. I bet Lucy is feeling just as bad as me. Please, tell Vance I've made my decision. I'm going home to Arfu. I hope to see you there as well. I'm just going to gather my stuff together and say my goodbyes, then I'll head on back. Oh, yes! I've managed to save him from the loony bin. But the decision now is, what do I do with these nutters? There are a flipping whole family full of nutters. Can I Please don't all? take Ian away from us. I trust your talk with young Ian went well. I am quite interested in learning the results of your discussion. Did he come to a decision? My fine friend, that poor soul has been wrestling with the same question every new member of the family asks himself when they arrive. 
Do I belong here or should I depart? All I ask is that they spend the time to reflect before deciding in solitude. You wish to arrive at some sort of a bargain? I suppose we could stop our raids on Arafu in light of this situation, but that just forces us to prey on others. Unless, many years ago, I survived by drinking from preserved blood packs I recovered from hospital ruins. The problem was that these blood packs are scarce. Although I appreciate what you are trying to do, Please realize that we have no money or goods to speak of. What little money Carl makes with his shop goes to buying weapons and ammunition to protect ourselves. I am very sorry. But perhaps you can make a better offer? Agreed. Please, take this proposal to Arafu. Speak with them and then return to me with their decision. I thank you for showing me that your kind can be trusted after all. It is a lesson I will not forget. Now, what of young Ian? Tell me his decision. He's leaving. It saddens me to lose one of my flock, but I believe everyone has to follow their own path. All I was attempting to do was guide him. Now it seems that responsibility has fallen upon you. I hope you will be more successful. Please. I want you to take this. Consider it as an apology to you for all the hardships you had to endure finding this place. Goodbye, human. Our time together has been rather... educational. <laughs> okay. I'm not done with them yet, don't worry. Um, I'm going to return to Arafu just to complete this quest and then I assume I'll come back here and I reckon I'm going to fucking kill them all. I reckon I have no choice. They're mental. Oh, it's you again. What's up? They are absolutely mental. They go around thinking they're vampires killing people. I can't let that continue. shooting.
not liking this. I'm a bit exposed out here in the open. fast as possible. Because the wasteland's dangerous at night. Okay, that's big town. means there's potentially super mutants around here. Why does that not fill me with a lot of confidence? of course I've already killed them which is possible I probably did it in the last video so I probably don't have a lot to worry about from them. cinema though isn't it? I move faster. Uh, let's use some sprint. Okay. I think my lights are practically no use to me at all at night. Outdoors anyway. I'm surprised to see you. Thought you'd run for the hills. There she is. The heroine of the day. I know. I talked to Ian. And he told me everything did you did. How did he get back before me? I don't know how you did it. But goddamn am I glad you walked up that ramp and lent us a hand. Thanks again, kid. 
Consider yourself welcome back here any time you're in this part of the wastes. Interesting. It seems they wish to enter into some kind of agreement. I guess it's better than pointing my gun down that ramp all day and hiding inside at night. Let Vance know he's got a deal. We'll do it. I'll speak to the others. I'm sure they'll agree with me. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Good. Okay. So what's next on my list of many things to do? Well, apparently I don't need to go back. Regulators, and I still need to obviously go to the Germantown Police HQ to uh, get rid of the super mutants. night vision on so I can see walking on then.
Oh, what am I reading that for? It's not a skill book. Okay, so where am I looking? Where am I heading? I want to head north, don't I? Really? Okay, I don't get that. Why were they hostile? Can't make anything. I'll take an assault rifle and I can repair. get why those ghouls were hostile towards me. That's a bit... Because they were just wastelanders. It's not like they were feral ghouls or anything. Jack White and uh, ooh, hello. And a wastelander. Another wastelander. Settlement. Hmm. I think my 
assault rifle definitely needs repairing. I can't, I can't repair my carbine. Oh, that's not good. Be careful because that rad scorpion was on its way around to me as well. There's a rad scorpion, so they killed him. Okay, he's dead and glitching out. lost now. So, seeing as I'm supposed to be wandering up there, I somehow ended up all the way over here. Let's place a marker on the map. Okay. 
Okay, strange reason. Galway Slanders. Ah, deciding to be aggressive towards me. Why is that? Don't recall killing a lot of ghouls thus far. Not, you know, beyond the feral ones, that is. crates on it. I can't, I don't think, unless I go in the water. And I'm not doing that because I don't want to take any rats. little adventure. I was terrified I'm going to run into something horrible in a minute. It's going to kill me. I don't want to die! Okay, I see protectrons. I see protectron. You'll be hostile. Tom killed the Talon Company guy. If he was indeed a Talon Company guy. No, he's just a wanderer, apparently. Place. 
why is there a giant man with a giant ice cream? I must still be in combat. Exactly the German police station, is it? big settlement but something something's telling me that I do not want to go in there just yet it's like my spidey sense is tingling Centaur. Starting to get a bit wrecked now. Might have to switch it out for a normal. Normal 
assault rifle. are in there somewhere. More shooting? Pipey Smokey. This looks like the place. It is the place. Okay. I think... Oh dear. Probably oh, didn't want to do that. Something there. Although saying that. Okay. I think the plan will be for me to go and infiltrate this compound next time in the next video so come back and join me then when I try to take on a whole bunch of super mutants thank you for watching